Hi everyone, CG Seb here. Uh, today I'm going to introduce you a new add on that just uh, released last week. Uh, it's a texturing add on where you can uh, basically uh, use the node and uh, create some procedural textures. So the name of the add on is Fluent Materializer. You can find it on uh, Blender Market. Uh, Gumroad or Heartstation, the link are in the description. Uh, so basically, yeah, you can you can create some really cool um, procedural uh, material like that, uh, fabrics and uh, metal. Uh, so it's it's pretty cool. I've been uh, playing with it uh, since the beginning, and uh, it allows you to create uh, some really cool. Uh, Really cool stuff. So I'm going to today to do uh, an introduction to it. So showing the basic usage, uh, the most common uh, usage of this add-on. And of course, I will make uh, other videos to introduce specific, very specific uh, ways to, to make stuff. So first of all, uh, there are, uh, will be the Imperfection. So imperfections are, I think, the most uh, common usage. So first of all, you need to um, enable the add-on, but probably you already know how to do it. Um, so if you don't know, you go to the preferences, you go here, and then you go install and you select the zip file here, materializer that you just download. So once it's activated here, uh, you should have on your shader editor a Fluent tab here, and then you should have this. So if you have this, it's working. If you press F, once your mouth is on the, the, the shader editor, you should see like Fluent MZ 1.0.0. So that's the current uh, version. So we're gonna start uh, with the imperfection. To do that, you need to be in random mode, in cycles. Um, you can do it also in EV, but it's working better with cycles uh, because we're using procedural uh, textures. So first of all, you need to add a material to the to the, the item and then you can just select the principal shader and you're gonna press F. Once you press F you see different menus uh, you can see the metals here colors those are colors like pre-made colors that you can use if you want to make a specific uh, specific uh, metal and you have here on the left the layers. Um, so Fluent Materializer is working uh, with mixed layers and layers. Uh, basically, you will have two layers. Uh, I, I, will, I, will, uh, I will show you right now with two layers. So we're going to use the pre-made pre uh, two layers stuff. So it will create you this. And what it does here, we have a mixed layer that basically mix the layer on the top with the layer on the bottom here. And what is making uh, the mix is the mask here. It's at zero. It means it will use only the one on the top and not the one on the bottom. So if I change, for example, this to red, we don't see any changes here. But if we change the mask, then we can see it slowly goes to the one on the bottom, but not the one on the top anymore. So the idea is to use this mask to uh, make it appear somewhere. So I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna do it like that. And we're gonna make this metallic. So what we want basically is uh, imperfection. You can do that by just simply selecting here and then you go on the Fluent tab on the right, and you go to Imperfection here. Uh, once you click on this, you have all the imperfections that are 
available. Uh, I'm gonna start using scratches here. And it will appear the node, the new node, at the left of the selected node. Because I selected this, it appears on the left. So if you don't see, because you're like that, and you don't see the node appear here, it probably needs, uh, it probably is uh, somewhere here because you have this selected or something. So I always recommend to select uh, the node that you want to put uh, the new node next to it. Um, so what we want to do with the scratches is basically use it as a mask. And because we use it as a mask, it's going to show as you can see here, uh, it's, it's going to show the uh, bottom layer based on the mask that is here. So I don't know if you have it already, uh, but I really recommend to turn on the add-on, uh, which is provided with Blender. It's for free. It's already inside Blender. It's the Node Wrangler, Wrangler add-on is this one. So you can just check this box and it will be easier for, for you to, to follow the rest of the tutorial. I'm also uh, gonna turn on, uh, okay. So basically, now that you have this, to see more what you are doing, I recommend you to switch the view here to the mask. So to do that, you press Control Shift, and then you're gonna click once. It's gonna go to the normal. You still do Control Shift click and Control Shift click again. So you can see the mask and you can see here what you're doing. So you can see here we changed the seed. It basically changed the randomness of it. Uh, and then you can change the scale, of course. So by Selecting the mask here with Control Shift click, you can see what you're doing. And once you're happy with it, uh, you can just uh, plug the mask here, here, and then select the principal shader here and Control Shift click on this. And we are back in this view. Uh, as you can see, we have scratches, but we don't see like the depth because when you scratch something, it, it's like remove some material. And the reason for that is because the normal is not plugged in. So we need to, know, to plug the normal into the bottom one. And now we can see a little bit more the scratches. I'm gonna make it metallic. And uh, you can, of course, change the strength of the normal. And you can, as you can see here, it's going inside the material. So that's it for the, the, the scratches. Uh, to add some imperfection, I also usually use the dented here. And uh, so we're going to select this, select dented here. Well, um, but now what we want to do is to make it dented here and, but if we plug it here, boom, we don't see the scratches anymore. So we need to mix those two layers. To do that, you need to press F and then go to the bottom here, you have Math Lighten. So you select this, put it here and then you put it back here and you have the scratches and the dented. Uh, for the normal map, we don't have this kind of node that you can use, but you can simply plug the normal here to the normal stack here and boom, directly you have the normal map of the dented. So that's it for the, the imperfection. Uh, I'm gonna use now the edges. 
with Fluent Materializer, you have different uh, masks. So as you can see, we're going to use the same example here, two layers, and we're going to make it blue, for example, and I'm going to make this like that. Boom. Gonna make it metallic because it looks more stylish. Boom, this too. So what I'm going to do is put some edges here. Uh, to do that, you need to select the mix layer, press F. Let me put it here so we can see. And then I'm going to use edges. And boom, we have edges. So what it does is if we, if we control shift click, we can see where it's white, it shows uh, the bottom layer and where it's black, it's showing the top layer. Um, so we're gonna reduce this, maybe something like this. So we have like just a small edge, but most of the time we use that to make it like something is used, something is kind of, uh, yeah, scratched and uh, something bumped into the corner and it's used. But here it doesn't look really realistic. So what we can do is plug something here in the texture node, texture input of the edges that will make it more random, more uh, realistic per se. Um, to make that, I use the crunches. So you go here in the Fluent tab, and then you go to the crunches. And most of the time, I'm using the number three because it, I think it looks looks okay. So now you can plug the result into texture, and boom, it's not a full straight uh, line. Now it's a little bit. Uh, random looks more like it's used it's more realistic uh, you can plug this to i think yeah doesn't look quite good so we can remove it uh so yeah so you have this if you want again uh control shift click you go into the result and then you can play with the mask, you have here the coverage. If you lower the coverage, it will have less white part and the white part, as I said, will be the lower uh, layer. So that's it for the edges. And now the cavities. Cavities is the opposite of the edges, which means it's not on the, the corners here, but it will be inside here and here. I will show you in a minute. So same, you select the principal BSDF of the object that you want. You do two layers. You make your main color to make metallic, boom. And then you select your mix layer where you want your mask to be, and then you select cavity. And boom, you have your cavities here, and you can see it a little bit here. You can play, of course, with the distance to make it more, uh, more aggressive or less aggressive, depending on what you want exactly uh, once again you have the texture input if you want to make it more random you can add some grunges and stuff and uh, yeah so that's it for the, the the cavities so yeah i hope you enjoyed the tutorial it was a quick introduction to fluent materializer uh, of course, I will make more tutorial uh, in the future to explain more specific uh, effects. And yeah, see you in the next one.